what was the uh, the bye week like for you? Did you guys get away from the football facility for a second there? A little bit. We got a little bit of recovery in and just a lot of film. I think that we just took it like off physically and really took it in mentally. When you get away, what do you what do you do when you're away from here and you don't have to be in the building? Um, really just take care of my body, just do everything possible to get my body back to 100% so I can go do as much as I possibly can on the field. Uh, we were talking to Coach Pryor earlier, and he said you're an explosive guy. You know, you play quick. He doesn't want to stop that quickness, but you've worked on, obviously, the two targeting penalties. Yeah. You missed two halves. Have you addressed that moving forward in the practice just in games ahead? Just learning and growing from it. I mean, you see that. Two targeting penalties doesn't look good on you. So just going in and just working on my tackling form, just working on just trying to progress and get better at doing that. So just in practice, doing things one by one and just trying to break it down on my tackling form and on my tackling. So not slowing myself down, but just going full speed and just working on that. And what's the excitement level going into the Lane Stadium Thursday night, the Terror Dome, being on that national stage, like getting through this short week, how does that hype the boys up? You got to know it. You love it in there. It's always jumping, Terror Dome. You're going to have fun. Every time you go out there, you're going to have fun. So I'm excited, always excited to go in there. What's been your biggest growth this year on the field? Um, on the field, I feel like just my leadership and just being around and just helping everybody. Um, also, just help myself and holding myself accountable and just little things and the details and just trying to grow myself. Does it feel good to see the safety room finally back almost to full health? Yes, it feels great. It feels great just knowing that we have depth and we have everybody just learning. What was that like throughout the first part of the season of mixed matching? by puzzle pieces trying to figure out who's going to play where and snap-wise because you'd be, I think you missed the second half against Bar Rutgers or Marshall? I think it was Rutgers. Yeah. Rutgers, uh, two, missed two halves. Uh, this year has, didn't play for a long stretch. Moe's been hurt, Jalen's been hurt. What's that been like? Uh, just moving around and just being able to have trust in each other and just pushing each other to just work around and grow around those positions and not only just being able to play one position and being able to play both is also good for our defense. So just everybody on the same page and everybody pushing each other to be the best is going to help us. What does Nasir bring to that room now that he's Leadership. getting back healthy? That's captain. That's captain in that room. He's going, he's going to hold everybody accountable. He's going to push everybody. He's going to make sure everybody's doing the right thing every, every moment possible. Was that tough without him? I mean, I know he's around, but not to have him on the field. Um, it was, it was tough, but just taking in that leadership role and just pushing everybody, just trying to hold up the standard in that room is it's a good it's a good thing on my back to have. With the open week, you got to sort of you, Nazir, kind of shepherd some of those younger guys like Christian Williams and other DBs like Braylon and Dante. Did they show you anything in these bye weeks as they're growing throughout the season? They showed me stuff all through the year and I mean they're taking the learning and they're taking it from the from the film straight to the field and they're learning slowly but they're definitely learning. They're gonna be great athletes. You play against Syracuse in twenty twenty one or special teams yep. wise. What do you remember from what they did offensively and what do you need to make sure they don't do on Thursday? Um, just play sound defense and just play sound football as a team. I mean, I know offense is going to go out there and do their thing. Special teams are going to go make plays, but defense, we just got to just play sound defense, mistake-free football, and just have fun. Your brother had a good game on Thursday night a couple of weeks ago yeah. against Washington with the pick. And did some other good things. Are you hoping to replicate that performance? You know it. Always go out there and just play, have fun. How cool is it to see him sort of get another shot in the league like that? I know he was kind of bouncing around practice squads for a while there. It's always cool just seeing him out there. He's been my leader since I've been a little boy. So just always watching him grow and just see him just be dedicated to the game is just always good to watch.